You sometimes need to calculate the amount of reactant and product in a chemical reaction at equilibrium when you've been given the amounts at the start of the reaction. I'll talk you through this simple example on page 709. It's a simple reaction in which butane is converted to methyl propane in a sealed reaction vessel. We are given the amount of reactant at the start of the reaction and we're trying to find the amounts of reactant and product at equilibrium. We're also given the value of the equilibrium constant K. In calculations like this, it's a good idea to draw up a little table underneath the chemical equation for the reaction and we'll use that table to show the amounts of reactant and product at the start and at equilibrium. Here are the starting amounts. We have one mole of butane, that's what we've been given, and because the reaction hasn't started we have zero moles of methylpropane product. Now look at the situation at equilibrium. We call the mole fraction of butane that has reacted alpha. If a fraction alpha of butane has reacted, and if we started with one mole, there are one minus alpha moles of butane left, and alpha moles of methylpropane product have been formed. So now we have values in terms of alpha for the amounts of reactants and products at equilibrium. Now we can put these values into the expression for K. K is in terms of partial pressures, but for an ideal gas, partial pressure is proportional to the number of moles. So we can put in number of moles instead of partial pressures. And we get this expression. 1 minus alpha is the number of moles of reactant, and that goes on the bottom, and alpha moles is the amount of product and that goes on the top. So now we have this expression we put in the value of K which is 2.5 and that gives us a simple algebraic expression in terms of alpha. And we can solve this simple algebraic equation to get a value for alpha which comes to 0.71. So at equilibrium the reaction vessel contains 0.71 moles of methylpropane product and 1 minus 0.71, which is 0.29 moles of butane reactant. This is a very simple example because there's just one molecule of reactant and one molecule of product. For most reactions, the calculation is more complicated and may involve quadratic or higher order algebraic equations. But the basic, basic approach is always the same. And a good starting point is to draw up a table like this one underneath the chemical equation. You could try worked example 15.7 for a slightly more complicated example.